in today's tutorial we will be looking more on the glide record and glide record methods so as always let's start the tutorial with the code now let's go through a list of common glide record method this is not an ex exhaustive list but a list I came up with that I believe represents some of the most popular and important methods and next video will actually demo these methods and in the background script which is the script uh, editor where you can execute the scripts. What's in service now? Okay, so uh, first we have the query method which we should be fairly comfortable with for now within the previous video We have seen it a couple of times This method is actually calls the database and sends the SQL that was generated from the other method that we used Next is the new new record method this is a this is used when inserting a new record into a table with glide record this method creates a new record sets sets and now uh, there is the default value for the record that uh, and then generates the sys id for that record we then have the insert method which is used to insert the record after setting fewer values we have an update method which is similar to insert but instead of inserting a new record it would update an existing record with the field values that we updated next is a delete record which is i'm sure you can guess delete the record okay uh, then we have we also have a add query method which adds a filter filter to the sql query we have seen this in the past couple of videos if you have not seen it just go and watch it okay it will be helpful next in the list we have add encoded query okay which is a very powerful and accepts an encoding string which we will see in the next video it is essential to take uh, it, it essentially takes us encoded query processes uh, it uh, it takes the encoded query it processes it and generates the sql for us it is very similar to the add query method but you will see uh, within next video can be little more powerful and requires less code okay it's one of my favorite okay uh, then we have the next method which returns a boolean value if there is another record in the glide record to loop through then we have the next method which performs actual iteration next is the get method which is a shortcut for grabbing a specific record then we have ordered by which accepts a field as its argument and which will order the list of records in ascending order based on the field which we uh, we also have the order by descending method finally we have can create can write can read can delete methods which uses access acls that is access control okay within the system and determines if the current user has the ability to create read delete the record these are the commonly used within script include which we will be seeing in the next section okay all right now let's discuss the two stage of the glide record we can think of the first stage as the building query stage this is where we build the query using javascript which which will generate the sql for us and run that against the database so in the building query stage is where we actually define the filter condition so here on the left we have our glide record api diagram and on the right we have our database in this case mysql database where our data is stored in service now so the awesome thing about glide record is it allows us to query the database while only using javascript we don't have to write any sql query statements okay so it is essential to take javascript in this case our table is incident and our query is priority equals one so all priority one incidents and and the glide record works in magic and takes this javascript and splits uh, it splits or the sql that will run against the secure against the secure database so for example in this case select star from glide record or incident table where the glide record query or uh, is priority equals to one okay so again all of this happening within the initial build query stage of the first stage 
so how we build the queries well we have two options and the first we can have the use the chain method where we can chain a number of methods together like add query all query all condition and no query not uh, no query active query not null query inactive queries okay we can use and in the second option we can use encoded queries which we which uses the method add encoded query so let's take a look at the first option the chain method option so with this option we will add these methods or chain these methods to the current glide record object as shown in the script here we can see on line 1 we create a glide record and then we start to chain method on it so this query reads find all properties a priority one incident or pri or priority two incident then that we have a category of hardware or software and were created after 27 2017 january okay that contains a short description um short description equal to test or short description is not null okay so again this is the first option to the stage so let's take a deeper look at the add query method since this is one of the most important uh, in option uh, in option one so add query accepts either two arguments or three arguments and there is a pretty big difference between two arguments uh, two arguments three arguments the two argument add query method accepts uh, accepts if we it means i won't mean to say if we only pass two argument to the query method we would be passing the field name as the first argument and the field value as the second argument and this example the field name is short description and the value is set to test if we decide to pass three arguments and again we uh, we have to pass the first attribute as field name the second argument will be the uh, we pass an operator and this case contains uh, then the third argument which will have the field value so with two arguments we had field name and field value with three arguments we have field name field value as well as the operator that sits between them below are the two list of operators that can that we can pass if uh, in the first list if use number field okay so we can do things like if the number is greater than greater equal to another number and we can use the second list within stream so does a string contains this value or does the string start with this value etc this kind of operators we can use in this example we are saying does this short description contain the word test note that if we only pass two arguments to the query method and equality operator is assumed so if we are not passing the third argument which says beside that so it will there will be an equal relationship or equal operator by default set over there okay let's move to the next slide now let's explore the second option encoded query within stage one so for qu complex queries i generally prefer this option as it is much easier for the developer so first we would head to the table and in service now actually build out the query using the graphical graphical interface our uh, service now provides so in this example you can see here we have the priority is critical or high and category is hardware or software and is created by 2017 okay and the short description is not empty so we are creating the same filter condition which you saw in the previous example now in steps two we would copy this query so you simply go to the breadcrumb the filter you can see at the top right it's called breadcrumb and then click copy query right click on that breadcrumb and click copy query this will copy the encoded query that service now uses to process this filter then once that copy uh, that got copied to the clipboard in that third step we add this to the add encoded query method which is in this case a long string that contains an encoded query string you can see over here 
now use uses to now uh, now service now uses to process this so you can see in this example there is a lot less code required however it does not require us to it does require us to go back to the service now instead and query create query using the filter and copy it out and then paste it in our code so that was the overview on the first stage one of the glide record i am going in pretty depth so you will get all the concept cleared in terms of service now now let's take a look on stage two the process record stage or stage two starts after we execute the query method so the query is executed and mysql okay and then mysql database returns us the record from our filter this record gets sent to the glide record glide record does its magic okay and maps out the database field to javascript properties now so then our record get returned to us back into a glide record variable where we then i have access to this record fields that are the actual properties of the current record one of the most important method and stage 2 is next method which iterates over an entire list of records when when i started learning about glide record this is one of the um, one of the method that causes a bit of confusion for me so i hope this slide will help you out to avoid that confusion you will not suffer the way i suffered the next method has a few magical function baked into it after we run the query method on glide record object we receive a iterable iterable object <laughs> sorry <laughs> iterable object returned to us in a glide record object so what does this mean well it means that if a query rebuild in the first stage of the glide record actually returns one or more record then a list of records are within the incident glide record object which we can iterate over in order to access the first record we need to iterate to it okay so by calling the next on the incident glide record variable we iterate to the first item of the in the array or list so in a example let's say we have total of four incidents uh, that have the priority one okay on the incident table this four incidents are represented by by below block of code and contain the incident object the javascript while loop will continue until it receives a false value which is returned by the next method if no more object are there in within the array so in this example the code within the loop while loop will runs four time okay on the first run we'll get the first incident which happens to be ins 000123 one of the most powerful part of glide record api is that we have access to all fields on the table where we were querying in this case the incident table so if you want to print the sys id and set up the number to the screen we would simply change this incident that number text to line number 5 to incident glide record sys id while we are still within the loop okay while loop we have an access to the current objects in the in this case in incident okay so inc00123 uh, line number 5 will be executed and print to the screen and then uh, continues within with the while loop where we we are taken to the second object in the array and so on until the until we cover all the four four objects or the uh, the last item in the object array hopefully we are starting to see the power of glide record api as opposed to writing this e, uh, all the operation within the sqls so as we saw in the last slide we were able to access any instant view of the uh, object by simply adding a dot walk and then name of the field once the query method is called and the object is iterated to a record field becomes the property of the current record object keep in mind okay keep in mind we use the field name in the script opposed to the field label okay so if we wanted to access incidents contact type we would like 
contact underscore type instead of capital con C contact space type which is label as on uh, you can say label of the of that field so for every field there will be two component one is label which you can see the display name you can consider the display name and second will be the field name column name which will the actual name which is stored in the database so we will always be using the actual name which is stored in the database now we will take a quick look at the get method so you might be asking yourself if i need to get a specific record and a script do i really want to write a five lines of code just to get it well the answer is no thanks or thanks to the get method often times when writing scripts we will have the society of the specific record whether it's a reference field or obtained from the another client record query as long as a given field on the table is truly unique okay so if uh, we can use get method when uh, we have the axis of the component of the table which is unique for that particular record okay then we can use it out then we can use the get method to retrieve that data and two lines of code okay however it is important to note that it is very different than using the query method with client record which returns an iterable object get only one rec this particular get method or returns only one record even if the filter provide matches more than one record so only use the get method with the truly unique value like sys id or the system generated values like the out of the box number field okay let's take a look at an example here we have three lines of code as well as the class diagram on the left you can see we are still providing the name of the table on the right first to the glide record constructor so nothing has changed here but on the line 2 instead of adding an add query method or just calling the query method we simply use the get method which takes the society as an argument or if we have another unique field so for example we can pass in the field name okay and the field value as an argument pretty cool right so in this case uh, because I know the number is truly unique I can pass the number as the first argument and the specific incident number of the record I will receive the, okay so in my case this is INC 0001 okay so this this is how we can use the get method hope you are getting a deep insights on the glide record and service now also I'm trying to cover all the small and niche topics okay so that you it will be beneficial for you to have to give you a complete understanding of the platform okay if you like the video like follow subscribe as always and stay tuned with us for the next video thank you